Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. One of the topics I'm very passionate about is torque, specifically using torque wrenches, torque tools, torque transducers, and how to make sure you are applying the correct torque to a fastener. Now recently I've gotten a lot of questions from some of my engine building videos about the use of extensions. Not necessarily these type of extensions. These type of extensions are okay. This is when you need to simply lengthen the uh, extension of the torque wrench in order to get into something, something where I can't get the torque wrench in there directly. So I put an extension on there. And these are okay as long as the extension, the tension tensile strength or the tension or the strength of the um, extension itself exceeds the torque you're going to apply to it. So these are perfectly okay. There's math for that, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about people that are asking me what happens when I can't get my torque wrench directly over the fastener and I have to reach into, into the fastener with something like this, which means I'm extending it. Could be a crow's foot, it could be a lot of things, but there are a lot of factors to consider when you add something like this to a torque wrench, not only adding it, but the angle of this extension is also important. Because what you're effectively doing is you are taking the center of torque right here of the torque wrench and you are moving it out and as you extend the torque wrench it changes the amount of applied torque to a fastener so what we're going to do is now there's a formula for that here's the formula this is what the formula looks like you could calculate it yourself and go through all that but we're going to run a test you know me i love to do tests we're going to do tests first i'm going to apply torque straight like this then I'm going to put this extension on, okay? And we're gonna measure the torque. And then we're gonna see what happens if I take this extension and if I rotate it 90 degrees. Am I applying the same amount of torque at 90 degrees as it is when it's straight? Let's run the test. First, I'd like to tell you, it's really important to have a tool like this with a known distance because over the 30 years I've been in industry, I have seen people make some homemade extensions that are a complete nightmare, that are completely ineffective. They think they're applying torque, but they absolutely are not. So making your own tool is not as good as buying something like this. They're not that expensive. Get yourself a tool like this so that you know the length and you're applying the correct torque. So what we're going to do for this test is pretty simple. I have my torque wrench set to 30 foot-pounds. I have my torque transducer mounted upside down in the vise because I need to hold the top of it. This is made by Ann Puds. I, this is the one I've used before. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first I'm going to take five readings uh, with a torque wrench straight on top like this. So I get a straight torque reading. And then I'm going to put the extension on there. And these extensions, this is also an Ann Pud set. Uh, this set is uh, the um, uh, regular standard size, SAE standard size. They also come in metric. Uh, and the good thing about this set is that these tools are a set length. It's two inches from the center of the socket to the center of where it attaches to the torque wrench. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the first five straight on. Then I'm going to put this on my torque wrench. And I'm going to have it straight just like that. I'll take five readings putting a torque straight. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees just like this. And we're going to see how it affects torque when I rotate an extension 90 degrees. First five readings until the torque wrench clicks. I'll take five data samples. One. Twenty seven point eight, twenty seven point three. Now I'll take five samples with the two inch extension. Thirty one. Thirty point seven. Now for the last five samples, I'm going to do it at ninety degrees. Twenty nine. Twenty nine point six. Okay, so we look at the data with just the socket installed like that. 
I took five readings, average of 27.78. Then I put the two inch extension on, on the torque wrench just like this, and I had it straight. So the two inch extension, I took five samples, it went up to 31.12 or an increase of 11%. And then I rotated it 90 degrees just like that, and I took five samples at 90 degrees, average 28.82 or an increase of 3%. So the question that comes from that test is this. Obviously, when I increase the length of my torque wrench by two inches, I'm going to be delivering more torque to the fastener. But the question is, why did it go from 11% increase straight to only 3% when it's at 90 degrees? That's because if you look at the center of the torque wrench and the center of the fastener, it is no longer extended this way. It's extended 90 degrees, so the resultant vector is actually over here somewhere, which is only a 3% increase. That's why there's a difference. So if you use torque tools like these, use any kind of torque extension, don't assume that you just because you have it straight up, and if I just turn it just a little bit, you're going to get the same torque. You're not. It's going to change. The more you turn this, the more it's going to change. And if you go past 90 degrees, if I start to use it down here, you're actually shortening the length of the torque wrench, and you'll deliver less torque to the fastener. So if you use any tools like these, make sure you know what you're doing, and make sure you understand the length and how you are affecting the, uh, the length of the torque wrench and how you're delivering torque to the fastener. That way you make sure you have a correctly fastened joint and you won't have to worry about it. So full disclosure, companies are constantly offering to send me tools and products to try out. And I turned down 99 of them, but this is one I took. Anpuds is a good company. I use their torque transducers. Uh, I use these tools. I needed a torque extension, which is why I took these. But I'll put the link to this product in the description of the video. Check it out because if you need to extend your torque wrench and you need to reach a fastener and you want to deliver a torque to a fastener you have to make sure you know the length of the torque and you're using a quality tool this is two inches if you're going to do the calculation you have to make sure that you know that dimension making your own tool is dangerous uh, not dangerous well it could be dangerous safety wise because it could break and you could hurt yourself but it's dangerous if you don't know exact distances you could deliver less torque than anticipated you won't get the clamp load desired and the joint will ultimately fail so uh, i've got a bunch of videos about torquing and how to use torque wrenches this is just something else that i wanted to talk about because people do ask me about torque wrench not necessarily extensions for depth but torque extensions for length and i hope that helps you out thanks for stopping by pete's garage